Welcome back to the Maven YouTube channel. It's your girl Maven. I'm a singer songwriter as well, so I'm major into astrology. If you're new to the YouTube channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button before I even get into this video. And welcome back if you're a returning subscriber from the mother mean team, the mean team, the main ones, the day ones, the real ones. People have been keeping this shit on going. As of right now, I really don't know the subscriber count. I think it's like 394. The goal is to get 400 before the end of September, but it is what it is. Thank you guys for really pushing up and really like trying to get me out there. I gotta hold it down. So today I'm going to be talking about the Scorpio woman, Miss Psychotic. There's literally two types of Scorpio. The one that loves hard or the one that's just a demon from hell. Okay, Scorpio woman, fixed water. If you are born in late October to the middle of November, you fall under the Scorpio sun sign. The Scorpio is a very deep, intense sign. Scorpio is ruled by the number eight, which looks like an infinity sign, okay? Um, Scorpio is ruled by the reproductive systems, the organs, everything about death, rebirth, and recreations. It's the cycle of infinity. Born, die, reborn again, pregnancy, everything. That's why, um, you know, they are very sexual, you know, to that degree. These girls obviously are natural whores. Sorry, sorry, I have to say it, but, okay, I, I won't even say natural whores. They're naturally sexually fluid, okay? Scorpio is ruled by a masculine and a feminine planet, which would be Mars and Pluto. Mars being the aggressive and Pluto being like, the feminine soft dim like very like distant and like cold um i noticed that with scorpios um look the observant at first really i'm gonna talk more about the positive scorpio in this video i might even do a part two today so if you see me in the same outfit mind your fucking business okay but i, I think i'm gonna do two parts I am gonna do parts. This part specifically is gonna be about the positive Scorpios because when you re when you're really in contact with a Scorpio woman who's really in high vibrations and really with secure and just so in tune with herself and her abilities, you got a friend for life. Okay. Well, one of my niece, her birthday is November fifth. My best friend, one of my best friends, November seventh. Okay. I was close with this other Scorpio girl. Girl, I don't know. November Scorpios are low key like loyal. Okay, loyal as fuck. October Scorpios, put them in a mental straitjacket. Something is seriously wrong with certain October. Certain, okay, fuck. Certain Scorpios, something's so wrong. But the positive, okay, oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. Pause. 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 Okay? Let's mention some famous scorpio women these are represent more of like the positive scorpios um some of them okay so famous scorpio women okay oh eve jocelyn hernandez sierra Katy perry willow smith lord sizza gabrielle union nia long and whoopi goldberg those are just a few scorpio women that i could find off top that are celebrities so i want to i want to i want to actually point this out right this scorpio woman regardless of her upbringing okay regardless of her upbringing when it comes to nature versus nurture if a scorpio woman is self-aware you are going to get a very powerful unshakable amazing human being because obviously it's a fixed sign they're stubborn but being stubborn isn't a bad thing if you have a solid foundation we all know scorpios are very manipulative between them and gemini they are underneath gemini i'm sorry gemini is very hard to read scorpios you're, you're, you're underneath gemini you are the second most manipulative zodiac sign on god on god okay followed by cancer but beside for that if a scorpio woman right because they are natural sirens to a degree i wrote a whole ep called siren a siren is a woman that uses her femininity to get what she wants from men to lure them and to take what they need now 
if a Scorpio woman can identify what she is in this life, she's going to be a powerful individual, regardless of whatever her situation or outcome comes in life. But if she identifies her identity with her traumas from childhood, she automatically becomes a villain. Because if you're only going to self-identify as the victim and to only be lashing out on people in your lifetime, you're not going to be a good person. And of all the celebrities I listed, we all know the one that just lashed out on everybody when they're only identifying with their trauma to the point where they don't trust anybody to the point where all they do is sting people because you're not going to break my shell. That's another thing. Scorpio is represented by the Scorpion, okay? So if you give them a reason, well, it's not even that. If they can't trust you, they, they just won't because something's going on within them, okay? That's another thing. If a Scorpio woman only identifies with her traumas through her upbringing because they're fixed, whatever they're taught, that's whatever they reciprocate, okay? It was whatever they put out. If they're only growing up in an environment of trauma, trauma, if they didn't catch that shit was wrong when they're a child, they live in that trauma and keep reproducing trauma for people because they believe that that's the right way of living, okay? But if they catch that shit, they become very stubborn and fixed and set into a healthier mindset, a healthier lifestyle towards being better. And they don't even associate with anything that brings them trauma or like brings them into an area of where they felt trauma. So it's like that's the two version of Scorpios. The villain origin story or the superhero, honestly, that gets out of that, if that makes sense. And it's almost like it's a beautiful thing. I'm telling you right now because Scorpios do get a bad fucking rest for being sociopaths. I wrote about that because I've experienced a traumatized versus a, a healthier, a unevolved Scorpio versus unevolved Scorpio, right? And when I seen a, like this, one of my best friends, okay? Her story, our stories are so similar growing up where it's like the women are taught to be men and the men are taught to be bitches. We could have chose that and made us bitter and angry and this and that, but it's like, nah, this girl, she was like, you know what? I seen what it is for my life when I was a kid. I don't want this and I'm not going to be living in this mindset where I'm angry, this, this and that. I'm going to be better. And this girl, she's just to the moon. And I love this girl to death. To the moon. I'm always going to have her back because this girl inspires me. Like one thing about each other, us each other, oh man, when a Scorpio trusts you and loves you, bro, it's real. But we go together like she's loyal she's loyal she got your back and, and like no matter whatever trials and tribulations you got in life she's with you she's with you this girl is your best friend you need something she's coming through for you she don't really expect nothing back besides be the better better version of you be your best version of you because i'm not shrinking myself for nobody else i only expect you to do good by fucking with me and that's why this is the Scorpios I love. And majority of the Scorpios that are listed in that um, celebrity list, either they've identified that and made them who they are for tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I'm telling you, dealing with an unevolved Scorpio, you need to get a freaking crucifix and freaking holy water splashing on that hoe. Because these bitch are sexual raging demons, okay? They're very aggressive, very insecure. They indulge in cold like activity. Just negative. Just awful. Awful. The negative Scorpio woman, okay? We just gonna let it all out. She likes to indulge in imposter syndrome where she wants to copy her friends, live other lifestyles of other people, dressing like other people, making so many subtle notes about other people, talking like other people, literally having a whole identity crisis, literally wanting to live in your skin, want to be. It's like Cassie and Maddie type of shit. Like they'll invite you in your circle just to copy you, disregard you, steal everything about your energy to harvest it, to form whatever identity they're trying to find within themselves it's so it's so fucking sickening it's so sickening like once i, I like and then this girl she literally made an imaginary beef up with me because her boyfriend liked me and then she started dressing like me trying to hang around people and i hang around me bitch i'm smart as fuck you can't hang with me you know me bitch okay you can't hang around me okay like she just was a loser and like they're wicked 
The unevolved Scorpio woman does not like other women. Every woman is a fucking competition to her. Everybody is a threat to her. She's so insecure. So that with the point where it's like if she does get friends, she becomes extremely possessive over her friends. Her other friends can't have no other friends. Otherwise, she's going to make up scenarios in her head to destroy that friendship that that friend has with other friends just to keep that other friend under her wing. She does... They're, they're the unevolved Scorpio woman, I'm telling you, stay the fuck away from her. If you see the signs of like the evil eye, the imposter syndrome, wanting to twin and dress like you, wanting to talk like you, just want to be underneath you, like always giving you praise and stuff like that. Like I know when a real friend compliments you versus somebody trying to get something from you compliments you. And that's something you need to watch out for, okay? Trust yourself because you're going to feel these things before you can see it okay trust yourself all right <laughs> i'm gonna do a part two on a separate occasion but another thing is like seriously the unevolved scorpio got a body count that's literally in the three figures like these girls when they don't have like you know self-control it's out of control and when they can't feel like a healthy way to cope with like and i'm not saying having a high body count means you like you're unhealthy but like when you're in this mindset right when a scorpio woman has a damaged traumatized mindset or something that's fucking up with her head she uses sex to cope as a coping mechanism it's like it's sick it's sick it's sick girls guys and it's nothing but against the lgbtq she wants to figure out what the fuck is going on with her so she uses sex to figure out what the fuck is going on with her head and then she gets super traumatized even more by taking on that. Scorpio is a very intense and powerful sign. And that's one thing I adore. The opposite polarity of Scorpio is Taurus. Taurus is literally ruled by the throat. Okay, that's like a lot of singers are Taurus. Chris Brown, Adele, Koi Ray, Kwani. Those are all Taurus that are singers, right? Whereas Taurus is more logical. Well... Scorpio is literally sexual and those are the two entryways to your body your mouth or your reproductive systems Okay, and it's crazy how they're both polar opposites because you know both could be used <laughs> To get something out and get something in you But that is all for part one of the Scorpio woman smash the subscribe button. You know, I love you mean team Stream your girl's music stream my debut EP siren. You guys have been running numbers up here and I, you know, I love y'all I really love y'all if it ain't for y'all, I don't know what I'll be doing, okay? But besides that, you know, YouTube is really my thing. I got a little bit of a little bit of social anxiety to a degree. I know I'll be talking with all this poisonous, but I've low-key I've low key been a loner, but that's okay. I think God separates you and makes you alone for you to figure out what you want with life, and this is what I want. Smash the subscribe button. Check out my website, okay, mavem.com for more behind the scenes content and exclusive stuff. Until then, mean team. Love y'all. Bye-bye.